Keltec PF9. What's wrong with it? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Keltec PF9. Notice it's a showing bench, workbench. I don't have any ammo anywhere or any loaded magazines where I could accidentally load it and, and have an accident. Uh, yeah, I do. Because I have a properly functioning brain. I can tell the difference between this and a cleaning rod or cleaning material or brushes. So I do have it loaded. Compared to the XDS, this one's bigger. But it's got the short magazine in the XDS. So grip to grip is thicker XDS. Slides thicker. XDS is a little bit longer. Came across the opportunity to get one of these, so I jumped on it. So I was looking for a light duty compact carry and this works out great for that for those who need numbers Slide thickness 22.356 millimeter. Now the front part of the slide is thinner. The barrel is at it's 18.47 millimeter. The grip. 48 millimeter, 0.8. Where the XDS is 51 51.19. 24.16. Twenty three point four zero twenty three point four oh same in the front comes with seven round magazines. It comes with one short magazine. You can order from Kiltec an eight round with this extension which works out good the extension that way you can put your full three fingers on it I did put a stainless rod in it because it had a 20 pound spring it came with a plastic one I bought another trigger because I don't like to travel this trigger. But for a compact carrier, it's perfect. It's not a target pistol. But I just want to make it a little easier. And it will get rid of I'm waiting for a trigger bar to come in. Because it will get rid of this. 
long distance. And when it gets right there, the bottom of the trigger guard scrapes my finger. And reset is long too. That's a false reset click because you can't do nothing with it. That's a real reset. And it's double action only because you'll see that hammer. You're pulling that back at the same time. Every time you use the trigger, you have to pull the hammer back. That's what makes it so long and harder. But it doesn't feel hard when you're shooting it. I don't know what pound it is, but it doesn't feel that much. For three twenty nine, I think it was a good deal. These run around five something. This is even smaller. Well, even the nine would be about the same size as that one. This is even smaller and a lot cheaper. Shoots just as good. I've tried all kind of ammo. I tried Federal. Try the Blazer Brass. And whatever this is, tin ring. I've even tried hollow points. And this is about the cheapest you can get. If something's going to mess up, it'd mess up with this, and it did not. Every one of them functioned perfectly in this gun. No problems at all.